Hello, everyone. We are Family Support Specialists here at Foothill Family Services. My name is Brianna. Hi, my name is Maria. Hi, my name is Karina. And today we are going to be doing a presentation on preventing child abuse to create a great childhood. This is going to be our agenda and our topic for today's presentation. We're going to be talking about what is child abuse, factors of why, preventing, and some strategies, what is our main goal, and some resources at the end of the presentation. Screaming at your children over their grades, especially to the point of the child's tears, is child abuse, pure and simple. It's not funny and it's not good parenting. It's crushing, scarring, frustration experience for the child. It isn't the least bit funny. This is by Ben Stain. According to the American Society for the Positive Care of Children, in 2020, 3.9 million children not to remember referrals were made, 7.1 million child abuse reports were made, and only 3.1 million children receive prevention and post-response services. What is child abuse? So uh, within child abuse, there are a few acts of commission that um, take part, which describe what child abuse is. Uh, some of these acts of omission are words or um, actions that could potentially harm or threat, that cause potential harm or threat to the child. Some of these few examples can be physical, sexual, and psychological abuse. Uh, the acts of commissions that um, can be uh, put into play are failure to provide uh, basic needs and protection from any possible harm. Some examples can be uh, physical, emotional, medical, um, inadequate supervision, and just any type of exposure to uh, violent environments. Factors of why. In the following slide, we're going to talk about the factors that lead to child abuse. Keep in mind that all of these are preventable. Causes of why child abuse occurs. We've thought about these, and these are the financial stress, stress in general, and lack of support cases, lack of parenting skills, any untreated mental illnesses, or divorce. So what is ACE? A ACEs is adverse childhood experiences or any traumatic event that occurred in childhood anywhere between birth to 17 years of age. These experiences are violence, abuse, or any type of neglect, witnessing violence in the home or in the community, or any suicidal family member in the household. Here is a quote that we have for you guys, and I will go ahead and read it for you. I understand how a parent might hit a child. It's because you can look into their eyes and see a reflection of yourself that you wish you hadn't. A child who is exposed to any kind of abuse or neglect is in a constant state of fear and stress, which then leads the brain to adapt to that kind of environment. This causes the, the child's brain to become impaired as well as their logical thinking and memory. Toxic stresses from AIDS can cause the brain development delays, and it also affects how the body responds to stress. So here, here are two diagrams that we found for the AIDS study findings. AIDS study found that adverse childhood experiences were very common and are dramatically related to adults' well-being, health risks, disease, and lifespan. A person with a high AIDS score study is likely to die at 20 years younger than average, and is two times likely more than to be a smoker, five times likely to experience depression, seven times likely to be an alcoholic, 10 times likely to have injected drugs, and 12 times likely to attempt suicide. In the following slide, we will be discussing four different ways to prevent child abuse. Since we talked about the possible factors of why child abuse happens, here are ways that we can prevent child abuse. Child abuse is underreported, and we must all have a consistent meaning of what child abuse is. Child abuse can be prevented before it even begins, and this is how. We can provide parenting classes, mental health um, counseling, comprehensive services, and child developmental knowledge. Promoting a safe, stable, nurturing relationship is important for child development. Some examples can be by providing home visitation programs such as Welcome Baby, HFA, and Early Head Start. Some strategies included are strengthening economic support to families, 
changing social norms to support parents and provide a positive parenting style and by providing quality care and education at an early um, part of life, promoting healthy child development um, parenting skills as well. What is our goal? Our goal is to prevent child abuse with the strategies mentioned on the previous slide. We also want to bring awareness to the community, parents, school, and children in every social environmental area that there is. If you suspect child abuse, speak up. Here are some of the things that you can do. Um, number one is take action. Two, call the police. Three, if unsure, call CPS. Four, do not ignore suspicion. Five, watch for signs. Six, ask, don't accuse. Children who are abused or experienced any type of abuse are always giving away hints. Um, please don't ignore these hints. Some of these hints can be, uh, you know, some very common hints that you may not really realize that they're hints for, you know, a child who's being abused. Um, here's some of the, uh, some of those signs, depression or sickness. So if a child, you know, you notice that doesn't want to come out of their room, um, is constantly, you know, saying that they're feeling sick trouble focusing, grades are suffering. So, you know, if you have a child who was always like a straight eight student, and then, you know, out of nowhere, you see that the, the grades are decreasing to like Fs, Ds, um, that can also be one of the signs. Um, withdraw or fearful, so just showing a lot of fear, changes in behavior. So you can see a lot of, you know, um, defiant behavior, that can also be a sign. Um, injuries, so any physical injuries in the body can also be a sign. Um, so just, you know, make a strong effort to, um, you know, um, watch out for these signs. And, you know, if you see any of these signs, please do not ignore them. Here is a quote that we found very powerful and it goes, people ask, how can a person abuse a child? And I ask, how can so many good people not do anything about it? It's really, really important to speak up. There's plenty of hotlines you can call if you ever witness or have any suspicion. Um, one of the most um, common hotlines is 1-800-422-4453. The most powerful way to reduce abuse is to spread awareness. April National Abuse, Child Abuse Prevention Month. It is the secrecy and the shame of being abused that often keeps this problem to continue. We just don't talk about it enough and it's time to speak up. Here's a little summary of um, you know, our whole presentation. So our main goal was to identify what child abuse is and also to identify the different ways in which child abuse can be prevented. Many of us may not be fully aware of what child abuse is or um, you know, be aware of the different ways that child abuse can be identified. Pre uh, preventing child abuse is crucial to the children's development physically, mentally, and emotionally. Preventing child abuse is a very, very important um, subject. We have plenty of resources Plenty of ways that you can reach out as well as receive any information. There is this very um, known program, it's called Generation Her. It is a weekly program for teen mothers and preteens. Um, this helps you, provide you with any information. They reach you out either through Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, or Facebook. Um, they have a lot of events at the Pomona Unified School District. They teach parents about um, all of the dev developmental changes that their children are going through to like better understand them, um, gives a lot of nutrition tips. And we also have other programs such as WIG, which gives great resource to mothers and infants and supports them with nutrition. I talked about before, these are other resources near you. Uh, God's Pantry Food Bank in Pomona is one of them. Um, America's Job Center to find a job um, anywhere, also in Pomona. And then there is also this bonus table, Cafecito Hour. And it is a cup of coffee with us on the second and the fourth Tuesdays of every month from two to three. And it's just about mental well-being, sharing experiences or any concerns 
that you might have in the community and also just to get connected with other resources that you need to live in a happy lifestyle. This is all found in Pomona um, City. That concludes our presentation. We hope that you guys um, received good information, good tips on how to determine what child abuse is and also uh, what signs to look for. Thank you guys for your information and your undivided attention. Thank you. Bye-bye.